I would say good morning, but it's not morning. Nope. Well, no, it's, it's, not. Not. it's about 12. 30. 12. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, right. 12. It's, it's almost 12. I'm, I'm glad it's not 12. I right? know. Because we'd be really we'd late. Be late. Uh, Look at that car. What car? Oh. Today is Tuesday. It is vlog 215. And we're headed up into town. Uh, we have a meeting with a good friend of mine who has been a car girl for many years. Her name is jean Chappelle. And jean and I are doing something interesting. And Kathy is gonna be shooting it. We are kind of prepping a, a sizzle reel for a new TV show that we're working. You guys uh, um, were introduced to Barry, who is the producer on this show. And it looks like jean might be my co-host for this particular show because she's a big car girl and she loves racing and motors and all that kind of stuff. That's cool. We're gonna meet with jean and we're gonna shoot a little bit of stuff for the scissor reel. Kathy's actually gonna shoot it. She's wicked with the camera. If all goes well and uh, we manage to sell the show, then you guys will find out what that is. But right now I can't mention it. It's top she secret. Did mention it. I didn't mention what it was. Oh or the name of it or anything or any, what it's about or anything like that. But it does have to do with cars, so that's... That's a half, a half of them, actually. Yeah, that's kind of a good way. But we're going out on the Malibu Pier, so that's gonna be cool. So we're gonna do that right now. It is absolutely a spectacular day. Yeah, it's couldn't have asked. I could go surfing. <laughs> I think I see her. Let's get started. This is my buddy jean -Pierre. We're shooting right now. We can't really show you what it is we're shooting. It's very windy. Hooty -hoo! <laughs> I don't know what that was at all. But we are doing an amazing show, a teaser for a show right now. And Kathy's shooting over here. Yes. Kalayla's doing some kind of, she's the, she's the, the ghost writer. There she is. Those are directing. The dialogue coach. The world's, dialogue coach. The world's best yes. dialogue coach, NPA. Yes, we've gotten, it's not Volt, V-O-L-T. It's Volt, V A. -U -L -T. No one is going to know what you're talking about, no, but, but it's important does. to us. She watches my shows and she'll say, you know that show you had on that? You know you didn't say that right, yeah. right? I'm like, Volt oh, versus what? Volt. Don't tell me now when it's already aired. This is out of control. Okay, we, we got to get back to work. Okay. All right, we are now going to our second location. Uh, we were at the pier before, now we're gonna try Latigo Shore, which is a beautiful beach. Um, we're just worried about wind. Yeah, it might be kind of windy, so we'll see whether it gets blown out or not. But, oh, Ferrari just went by, another one, nice. And then after that, I think we're done. Call it day. Yep, the martini. Video, oh, snap. Oh, right into Say right, something. Oh. I don't care what you say. Wrap your Nicki Minaj. Say, tell me how cool your mom is. Oh. Oh, oh. my God. <laughs> yeah. On an epic scale. Fireball's cooler. Oh. oh. <laughs> she lies well. I like it. We finished doing the shoot. Oh. 
How does it feel? Oh. Uh, oh, <laughs> I thought talking. we were posing. <laughs> we're blogging okay. we're right much, now. We're much better at just posing. Right. Just let us right. just pose. Okay, Jeez. you ready to pose? Okay, we're gonna okay. pose. Very successful shoot. It was great. That was awesome. Uh, I wish I could tell you guys what it is that we're doing, but it's kind of top secret. We are doing this as a major TV show uh, that we're putting together for um, as just kind of as a trailer, but it's going to be good. Going to be slick. We're heading back south on PCH. Time to head back to the pad and uh, kind of wrap up the day. Yeah. Anything else you got to do? Uh, no, no, no. Thank God. <laughs> What an awesome day. That was really fun. Uh, hanging out with jean Viev and shooting all this sizzle reel stuff for this, this new show that we're, we're working on. You know, I, I'm at a point now in my life where I actually get to choose the people that I work with, as opposed to actually being forced to work with people that you, you don't know or you don't necessarily like. I got an email yesterday from a a car show that is being filmed. Uh, it's called Car Matchmaker, and it's on the Esquire Network. And they wanted me to come on and, and do do a few things. I had to turn it down because it just I don't know. It was it wasn't it wasn't my thing. But this new show, which I'm very excited about, um, I get to work with some very very cool people. And Jean Viev is has been in the car world for a very long time. Uh, not only is she stunning, but you know she's an incredibly intelligent person and has developed her own shows, has her own business. Uh, she's incredibly smart, uh, very intuitive, and a huge car person. Uh, what she is is the uh, the epitome of car culture, and uh, she's the queen of cars. And that's that's why uh, I picked her to, to do this show with. Uh, she's a tremendous co-host, and we're going to have a lot of fun. To have another sip of coffee. Big news today, tremendous news, very excited to talk about this at the North American Auto Show, which is the Detroit Auto Show, just another fancy name. My friend Henrik Fisker has revealed his Force One exotic car. If, look at this thing. This is absolutely stunning. Uh, from the front, it's very unique. Look at those little sliver headlights. Uh, from the side, uh, it has this tremendously strong hip that goes, um, uh, that, that terminates towards the back. The window, uh, side windows, is unique. There's a lot of very unique aspects to this vehicle. Henrik is a tremendous designer, uh, uh, just really good, which is why he's been very successful in doing things with Aston Martin and uh, with BMW and a lot of the, you know, the, the big car companies. But it's just, it's an amazing looking car. Uh, it's something that I cannot wait to see in the flesh. I'm pretty sure that I'll see it this year. And if I'm uh, lucky enough, when he comes back from Detroit, he'll bring the car with him probably will. But Henrik, if you're watching this, bring the car. You don't have to drive it here. You can ship it. That's okay. But when you get out here, we'll drive. Another big winner for Detroit, in my opinion, design-wise, is the Buick Avista. I'm hoping that I say that right. Otherwise, uh, this is a, a gorgeous coupe. Uh, if Buick continues along this language, they will have some very successful cars. There's a lot of, of different elements to this car that are reminiscent of, of exotics of a, of a much higher caliber than what Buick necessarily used to stand for. This brings Buick up a major notch, and I, I'm very proud of those guys. I think design-wise, this is a tremendously successful car, and I'm excited as all, as all heck to, to see what, is, what else they, they're going to be doing to carry this language into other models. Doing the same thing that Cadillac did with their brand and you know, targeting the younger buyers, uh, coming out with, with slicker designs, with things that are very forward thinking. And the technology is, is also on there with it. Now you can read all kinds of reviews of these cars and you, you're gonna hear the horsepower, you're gonna hear like uh, Henrik's car has 745 horsepower. That's nice and those, those are great things and you're gonna see those all over the place. But as far as an opinion goes, as far as in the design realm, design wise, you can't look at either one of those cars and not just stand there in awe and say what a, what a successful concept those cars are. And the last one, just for a little bit of fun, once again is uh, something from Rain Prisk Designs. This is the Bugatti Chiron, 
and it's uh, you know it's a snowmobile snowmobile machine snowing snow machine snowmobile thing you know just driving you know who would who would ever do this it's a 2.5 million dollar car and he's got it you know racing through the snow with you know I don't know what is that uh, the skis on top or something like that I don't know this guy seems to be having a lot of fun rain keep it up because these cars look very cool and uh, it's just funny what I would like to see you do personally is a, a Ferrari FF monster truck that would you know that would be cool for me just you know if you're thinking about something to do you got nothing to do on a Saturday afternoon just kind of screw it around uh, do one of those for me I'd appreciate it and that's it for vlog 215 thanks for watching guys I uh, really appreciate it it's always great to hear from you I just broke my elbow if you go to Facebook and you hang out with us there you'll see that I post a lot of muscle cars rat rods some really really cool stuff and if you have any friends that have really neat cars, you know, send them over. We'll post them. Love you guys. I'm out. Bye.